Let's look at question number 14 on the final exam review. You're given an equation, a linear equation, and you're asked to draw a graph. So let's look at the approach on this problem. Come with me to the paper. You're given the equation 2x plus 3y equals negative 6, and you're asked to graph it. There are actually two methods here that work very well. One method is to do this by creating your intercepts. And that's pretty much by making a little ordered pair table. Put a 0 in for x. If I put a 0 in for x, 2 times 0 is gone, basically. It's 0. 3 times y is negative 6. Divide by 3, so y would be negative 2. If I put a 0 in for y, the y term would disappear. 2x equals negative 6. Divide by 2, x is negative 3. If I plotted the ordered pair 0, negative 2, 0, negative 2, and if I plotted the ordered pair negative 3, 0, and played the connect the dots game, I have a graph of my line. So one way to graph that line is by using the intercept method. In other words, making up a table and putting zeros once in for x, once in for y. A little bit more sophisticated method, which I like my college algebra students to know, if I have this equation, this equation is currently in what's called standard form. I like to have the equation in slope-intercept form, which means we need to solve it for y. So my first step would be to subtract 2x. 3y is equal to the opposite of 2x minus 6. Divide everything by 3, every term by 3 to keep the equation equivalent. We have y is equal to negative 2 thirds x minus 2. Now, when you have an equation in slope-intercept form, the number in front of the x is the slope. So the slope would be negative 2 thirds. And the value in the back is b, which is actually your y-intercept. So as an ordered pair, that would be the ordered pair 0, negative 2. So if I went to a piece of graph paper, and I started with the ordered pair 0, negative 2, which would be here. And I wanted to get another point on the line. My slope is negative 2 thirds. What that would tell me to do from my known point is I would go down two blocks and three to the right. Again, down two and over three. Play my connect the dots game and I have a picture of my line. It's the same line as I have up here, all right? Identically the same. We just use different methods. This was called the intercept method, where you made an ordered pair table with zeros in each of the appropriate spots. And this method involved putting or writing the equation in slope-intercept form first before you continue.